Jonathan Davis is so emotional in his songs that he fainted on stage during one of them. Watch this video till the end to learn everything interesting about the corn singer and see how he changed from his early age to now. Enjoy watching. Jonathan's life story cannot be called simple. Throughout his life, he went through a lot of hardships and turmoil, which had a profound impact on his creativity and made him one of the brightest metal singers of all time. Davis was born into a family of an actress and a keyboardist who divorced when he was three years old. JD suffered from asthma and at the age of five nearly died due to a severe attack. He was given a drum set as a child, which started his passion for music. The young man didn't stop at one musical instrument and also mastered the bagpipes, inspired by his Scottish grandmother. At school, Jonathan was an object of ridicule because of his unconventional appearance and musical preferences. At the age of 16, the future rock star got a job at the morgue as a coroner's assistant. He planned to become a professional embalmer in a funeral home, but eventually decided to abandon this venture because of post-traumatic stress. Until he was 18 years old, the singer lived with his father and stepmother, who abused him in every way possible. She put hot sauce in his tea and locked him in the closet. Years later, Davis would dedicate the song Kill You to her. JD's first band was Bach Naked, and he later sang in the band Sex Art, formed in 1991. Jonathan was in this band for two years, until his performance was noticed by former members of the band LAPD, who needed a vocalist. At first, JD didn't want to join them, but on the advice of a psychic, he did. And that's how the story of Korn, whose name refers to the horror movie Children of the Korn, began. Their debut album of the same name was released in 1994 and was boycotted by most radio stations. In the single Shoots and Letters, which is a set of children's scouting songs, Jonathan used bagpipes, which later became an element of the band's signature sound. JD based the track Daddy on his traumatic experience as a child when he was the victim of molestation from a woman in his neighborhood. During the recording of the song, the vocalist suffered an emotional breakdown, and during the live performance of Daddy, he fainted right on stage. Because of this, Korn removed this track from the live set list for a long time. The band composed the material for their second album, 96's Life is Peachy, in two days. During the recording period, Davis was captive to alcohol and other strong addictions. Two years later, Follow the Leader premiered, becoming Korn's most commercially successful release. Thanks to this release and the two previous ones, the band managed to bring the new metal genre into the mainstream. Freak on a Leash is the band's most famous song. In it, Jonathan touches on the topic of the music industry exploding musicians. The music video for this single earned Korn their first Grammy Award. The track Justin was written in honor of a 14-year-old fan in the last stages of cancer, with whom the band spent an entire day. The band's fourth album, 98's Issues, hit the top of the Billboard chart, selling 575,000 copies in its first week. The song about domestic violence, Falling Away From Me, was first performed by the band in the animated series South Park. Under the nickname J. Devil Davis, mixed tracks and performs DJ sets. He's also working on solo albums. Jonathan's creativity is characterized by deep lyrics and unique vocals, and his life experience has inspired many to be steadfast in achieving their goals. Watch these videos to see more fascinating transformations of your favorite rock stars. See you in the next videos.